Hi, it's Jo. I'm bringing you another video to help you along with your Cameo. And this one today, I've had requests before and this one came up again after I posted a file that I created in the Cameo or the Silhouette software and put it on my blog. So I thought I would go ahead and show you how to bring in a file once you have downloaded. Now there's a couple different things um, that can play into this. One is depending on what type of software that you're using, whether it be the just the basic Silhouette software or the Silhouette Designer Edition. Now I am using the Designer Edition, but I will address how you would actually be able to bring in a file other than a studio file um, and use it, uh, such as an SVG or something else. Uh, but you will have to download another program in order to do that. So I will address that as well. If not in this video, I will make a separate video, but I'm going to see if I can't get it into this one as well. So the first thing you'll want to do is we're going to go ahead to my blog. I'll shrink this down and this is my blog and this was the card that I just posted. And let me scroll down to where I have the file. And I have it right here. Now this is a file to create this um, circle stair step card. So I'm going to go ahead to download the 7 inch version. So I'm going to click on that. And it's going to take me to um, box one of the download services. And I'm going to go ahead and click download. And you can see it's, it's now downloading over here. Now I'm going to go ahead and let's see, we're going to show all downloads where you would just really go into wherever you have your items downloaded and that's where it's going to be. Now, in this case, this one's really simple because I do have um, the designer software. So basically you would just go in and open up a file even if it is an SVG file. In this case, it is a studio file. So I could just double click on this and now you can see I've opened up my file. Now I'm going to show you if for instance you want to open up the file directly from your silhouette what you're going to do is you'll have your blank item up or your blank mat. You would go up to file and click on open and now you're going to go to wherever that is that you may have downloaded or wherever you may have put that file. In this case, I actually have it on another drive as well, but it's, it's all going to depend on where you've downloaded that file, if you've moved that file someplace else to where all your Cameo files are. It, it, it's going to depend. Everybody is probably going to be a little bit different, but you're still going to open it the same way. So I'm opening it. I'm on, um, I have a thumb drive in right now. So I'm going to click on that and there it is. It's opened up my file for me. Just so you know, there's the original one we opened and here's the other one I just opened up. And that's all that's to it as far as opening a file. And that's if it's in uh, a studio file or any other like SVG um, file, as long as you have the designer software. Now, if you did not have the designer software, what would happen is you would probably have something, um, most of the files that are offered out there are in SVG format. And what you would need to do is you'd actually have to convert that SVG format to a format that you can actually open up in your Cameo. Now, um, I'm going to go out to birdscards.com. She offers some of the most beautiful files and I would encourage you to support her as, as much as possible because her files are gorgeous. So, um, I'm going to download her newest file that she put out there today, which is a lacy border file. It's gorgeous. So, and this is the first time I'm downloading it. Okay, I have it downloaded. I'm going to go into show all downloads and I'm going to show it in my folder. And I am working off of a Windows um, 7 right now rather than Windows 8. Now, it was titled Heart Doilies uh, Border. Now, I'm going to go ahead and let me open that up. And as you can see, now she does actually provide you with all the different versions. SVG, Studio, um, PDF, 
uh, I think that's Make the Cut for MTC, GSD, DXF, a every imaginable one. I mean, I'm sure there's others, but I don't know of them. But so you wouldn't really have a problem as far as opening a hearse. But say, for instance, you purchase something or someone only offers it in an SVG format. So what we would have to do in that case would be, and I'm going to go ahead and take this SVG format and I'm going to put it over into my documents right now just so I know where I can find that at. And now I am going to go back. Let's shrink this down and shrink this down as well as this. And I'm going to open up a program that's called Inkscape. And Inkscape is a free program and it's available at inkscape.org. And just give it a second for it to open. Um, it's a very powerful program from what I've read. I don't know all the capabilities of it. I just do know that it will convert your files for you. So what we're going to do is you have this program open and we're going to go to file pretty much the same as what we did with the cami when we were in the software for the cameo and I'm going to do open and because I know it's in my documents I'm going to go through and there it is right there and actually I opened up a different file I believe but that's fine it's still the same um, it's SVG so I'm going to open that up let's make that larger now I have it as an SVG file great now I want to go file and I'm going to do save as and I need to go here and change this from Inkscape SVG and I need to go through and look for desktop cutting plotter which is a DXF file I want to click on that and I can leave it the same name which will be fine so I'm going to save that and you want to use RoboMaster type of spline output. You want to make sure that is checked off. And click OK. Alright, so now we have that done. That's been saved. Now we can just close this out or shrink it down, either one. And I'm going to go back to my software. I'm going to go to a blank page. I'm going to go File, Open, and I I know that this is in my documents, so I'm going to go into my documents. And you're going to have to change this down here. It's not going to be Silhouette Studio. Uh, I would just change it to All Files. That would be your easiest thing to do. And let's see if I can change my date modified and find it easier. Um, there we go. And you'll see right here. It says Hart Doily Border 2 by Bird.dxf. You're going to click on that, and there you go. Now you can open up that file. So it's anything, if it's an SVG file, you'll just want to change it to a DXF file through Inkscape in order to open it up in just the basic software with Silhouette. Now, if you go ahead and purchase the designer software, you won't need to do that. It, it will open SVG files, um, which again is one of the most common files out there, especially when um, so many different people offer a free file that they're creating within other programs. Um, if you don't have the designer software, I would encourage you to get the designer software only because it's so much easier. You can eliminate this step altogether. Plus it has a few other added features and there's a lot of places out there that offer um, discounts on the software. I actually purchased mine through Pumpkin Patch and um, it was a discount plus I got um, a free download amount from their um, sister store. So um, that would be the best thing but the second best thing would be download the Inkscape program which is free and um, work with it and change them over. I mean it this way you're not having to put any additional money out or if you just want to see if maybe some of these other files might be files that you want to use. Now the one thing I do want to give you a hint on is many of the files when you change them over or even some of the ones that you download when you go to cut you may get a message to say these don't have cut lines. If that would happen to you 
what you would do is go up to these little scissors right up here, click on them. Now these actually had the cut lines. There are many times that it'll actually look like that. If that's the case, then what you're going to do is just switch it to cut and you're good to go. Don't panic, it will work. It's just a lot of times that won't transfer over or they're not made into a cut file, but that's all you need to do. Just go into those little scissors up there and don't go to the scissors over here because that's a completely different item. You'll want to go to the small ones over to your right that are look like they're cutting a line and that's where you can change and you can even make things perforated edges, uh, whatever you want, but that's all you have to do. Just a quick tip there at the end. So I hope this has been helpful and that you'll give it a try either way because there are lots of files out there that are so much fun to use and um, not necessarily in the Silhouette store. So hope this was helpful and thanks for joining me. See you again soon.